Hi guys, I'm back. As promised, I am uh, planning on doing some videos over the summer. Today's art project has to do with samurai. Um, just a little background first. Samurai are were Japanese warriors. There's a very long history of samurai warriors in Japan. And we are going to focus mainly, really just, on samurai helmets. So what they wore on their head. The reason is because their helmets were actually works of art. Some of their helmets anyway. They were so elaborately decorated, carved, um, just, they literally were works of art. Some of them had animals like fish or rabbits or dragons or um, pretty much anything you can think of on them. Some of them had pieces of animal hide or hair on them. Some of them had big gold pieces that came out and elaborate carvings or designs on them. Um, please search strange samurai helmets on Google and you will see lots and lots of amazing helmets. Not all of them were that way, but there were many that were really elaborate and decorative. And possibly several several reasons for this. In the Google Classroom, I'll post a link to some, some pictures. Um, if we were in class, we would discuss why you think maybe they were wearing these helmets with all these really interesting things on them. But I guess I will just tell you um, kind of my ideas on it since we're not in class and can't really discuss it. But you can leave comments on Google Classroom or comments below this video. That would be awesome. Um, so I think part of it was literally just artistic purposes. They, especially like wealthier samurai, had the ability to pay to have artists create these elaborate designs for them. It showed off their status. Um, the artists were able to express their creativity. Um, part of it, I think, was to be easily recognizable, especially if they actually wore the elaborate ones out on the battlefield. Um, people would be able to know exactly who they were, if they were enemy or friend, so it would make them very easily recognizable. A lot of times the animal animals would symbolize either that person or their household. Um, there was like a history there with that. Um, also, some of the helmets are legit scary. So if you see the samurai warrior coming at you with this really strange things on his head, horns sticking out, um, you might be more intimidated and more likely to run away. So um, that I think would, would also play a part in that. So these amazing helmets, what we are going to do today is to make a helmet out of origami. So our helmets will be made out of paper and it will look kind of like a samurai helmet. Um, I think this is very fitting since origami originated in Japan. Some of the earliest origami were actually made by samurai to give to other samurai as like good luck charms kind of things to take with them that was that were supposed to help them stay alive in battle. So um, I think it's very fitting that we are doing origami in our representations of the samurai helmets. So today we are going to do a, I will show you guys a small samurai helmet made out of just regular origami paper. You can make it out of any kind of paper as long as you make it to a square. And then I'm also going to try and make a giant origami helmet out of newspaper that you could actually wear on your head. Um, this one will be about the size, please don't torture your pets, but this one will be about the size that would fit like a cat head. Um, and this one hopefully will be a size, might actually be bigger than a human head, I don't know, we'll see. I've never made one quite that big, I've made some bigger ones, but I've never made one quite that big, so um, we'll see how big it ends up being um, when we're all done. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is what our samurai helmet is gonna look like when we are all the way finished with it. There's, you can see there's an opening on the bottom. Um, if you do not have a colored sheet that has white on the back or two different colors on one, you know, one side is one color and one side is the other, then this part will be the same color as the top of your helmet. So I mentioned in the bit earlier um, that a lot of samurai helmets had like gold pieces that stuck up on either side. Sometimes they had horns 
And so these are represent representing that, these folds that, that come up on the sides of the helmet. And we're not really doing the bottom part of the helmet. They had armor attached around behind it that hung down behind it. And these helmets don't really have that. There's just the top part of the helmet. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is, like many, many times in origami, you're gonna fold your paper in half diagonally, match up corner to corner, crease it. And then we are gonna take one corner and fold it up to the top in the middle, and then the other corner fold it up to the top in the middle and make kind of a diamond out of it. So there's one fold. With the other one, try to line it up as close as you can to the middle. Now, go ahead and turn your diamond around so that these flaps are at the bottom. And you're gonna fold those flaps up to the top. So you're kind of folding that whole side in half. And then you're gonna take this point on the top and you're gonna fold it out. You want a straight line from that corner and you want the edge of this this part of the triangle, because this is this part right here is a triangle. You want the this edge of the triangle, you want that corner to meet right on the edge of this bigger triangle of your helmet. So you're gonna fold this flap down and try to make it so that the point is exactly meets with this point and so that this point meets exactly on the edge. That's the best way I can come up with to, sh to tell you how to place these. It won't look bad if you fold them, you know, up higher or down lower. Um, that That's fine too. This next fold is also kind of a, a guessing fold. Like, I would call it um, because there's nothing exactly to line it up to. So you want it, you know, a ways down from the top and um, so not like really close to the top so you have hardly any space there, not really close to the bottom so that you have a huge space there. Try to have it kind of in the middle so that you have uh, some, it's, some space around the edges. And then you're going to fold that down. Then you'll notice that it's not lined up even. If it was lined up evenly, it would cover the whole triangle, right? But it's not lined up evenly. It's folded down from the triangle. So you have this little piece that hangs down under the edge of your triangle, and that you are going to roll up. You're going to keep this part fold, paper folded together under and just kind of roll it up and crease it. I can see mine is not exactly straight because it doesn't quite meet the edges of my helmet, but it's going to have to be good enough, I guess. Then you're going to take this bottom triangle and fold it up all the way as far as you can get it over that triangle. Open that back up and you'll have this little pocket here and you want to tuck this triangle all the way up inside of your pocket so that you don't see it anymore. And that is it. It's very simple. That is that is how you make an origami samurai helmet. Okay, so, and like I said, my cat is not inside, but, and I, she would be really mad if I tried it on her, but I think it would uh, fit her about perfectly. So now we're gonna try to do a giant one. If you had um, some, like an old dream catcher, an old uh, um, advertiser. You could use those, any kind of newspaper or large paper, or just like sheets of paper. You could tape them together to make a big one. Um, to make it the, you know, this big, you'd have to tape several together, but you could try like four sheets of paper. It just needs to be a square. So 
this sheet I have now is not a square and how I know that is that when I fold this corner down and line it up exactly with this edge here there is a big piece that doesn't meet on the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this um, bottom edge off in line with the paper folded over and this newspaper is a little worse for the wear but I think it'll still work hopefully you may notice the newspapers in Chinese that's not really on purpose um, it was one I had saved that came in with something I ordered and that was actually the only newspaper I have in my house right now so uh, should go get the mail because I'm sure I would have more than but um, okay so we should have a square now so and actually we already have it folded in a um, triangle folded in half our first step I think Do I want this to be the front side or this maybe we'll have this big black piece be the front side okay so I'm gonna fold this corner up to the middle that one up turn it around forgot a step. I was gonna fold this all the way up and tuck it in, but we need the bottom part. So we fold that first flap up and then roll that up bottom up. That looks more like a samurai helmet. Now we can fold this all the way to the top and fold it in here. Okay, it looks like about the right uh, size for me. I guess I will uh, change the position of my camera and try it on for you guys. Okay, let's try it on. And this is how I look in my samurai helmet. Um, actually, I was able a long time ago, before you guys, before my students were born, um, <laughs> to take a trip to Japan and visit some of our friends there. And we happened to be there during a samurai festival. The pictures are very bad because it was evening time and we didn't have good quality cameras, but I will show you guys a couple um, of pictures from that to, to end our samurai helmet video. Okay, let's start out with this picture because um, it's the only one I have actually of somebody dressed up as a samurai. You can see that they're playing drums in the background. Um, there was lots of people dressed up as samurai. Um, there was, let me go back this way, there was ladies that danced in kimonos um, during this parade and then afterward there was a big like food festival, kind of like a fair with lots of um, like street vendors selling different kinds of fried food and all kinds of foods. So um, that was the Samurai Festival we visited. If you guys want to see a picture of me, oh, there we go. <laughs> so me when I was a lot younger with my husband and some of our friends in Japan. Um, okay, so that's enough of that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next video.